Hey friends, today I'm going to show you how I cook for my family of eight using our wood cook stove. So this morning I am going to make granola and I also made yogurt on our wood cook stove as well. Um, I'll do a video on that soon showing you guys last night. It was kind of an experiment. Um, so we're going to strain that out and get it outside in our um, off-grid refrigerator that is just the outside <laughs> sitting on our deck because it cools things off really fast. Um, it's like five degrees outside so today is the perfect day to show you guys our, our cooking for the day. So this is the yogurt that I made last night. You can see that it's separated from the whey. Um, I just put it in my crock pot. I put milk in the crock pot with some yogurt for a starter and left it on the warming rack all night and this is what I got. So I'm gonna strain this out really quick, put it outside, and then we'll get started on our granola. And there's some lovely yogurt. And I'm gonna put the lid on this and toss this on the deck um, and let it cool down. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do for our granola is I'm going to take a half a cup of coconut oil and I'm going to put it in my pot and melt it on the cook stove. And it's not gonna take long because it's warm in the house and the coconut oil is all melty anyways. The cook stove's kinda of tight this morning because we're making bone broth. Um, and that has taken up a lot of my cook stove, but we're gonna be using the oven a lot today. And this little spot over here is the warmest part of the cook stove. And this is the part that I use the most anyway, so it works out. In the meantime, I am going to get the rest of my granola started. So I'm gonna add five cups of oats into my bowl here. We want a good pinch of salt and one teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm also gonna add five tablespoons of chia seeds and in my chia seed container there's a little tablespoon in here. I'm gonna try something new today. I got this, um, it's date syrup. Instead of using maple syrup or honey, we're gonna try this out today. And it's one cup of this. And since I used the same cup, measuring cup that I used for my coconut oil, it came out nice and clean. Okay, let's go check on our coconut oil. Pretty quickly melted. And then we're gonna add some vanilla extract. Oh, that's the last of my bottle. And some almond extract. About a teaspoon each, vanilla extract and almond extract. I'm gonna use my hand, my clean hand, Get some coconut oil on my baking dish so my granola doesn't stick. Even though there is coconut oil in there, it's best to just grease up your dish too. Okay, so I have my oven preheated and in a typical oven. I think that the recipe holds for 300 degrees. I'm just going to put it in at the temperature that it is and check on it. That seems to be what I have to do with our cook stove. It doesn't really have a set temperature. So for Michael and I's breakfast, we're doing yogurt and granola for the kids, and then Michael and I are going to have omelets because we are doing keto, so I have some cream cheese, some Havarti cheese, mushrooms, turkey bacon, and egg. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and sweeten my yogurt before my granola is done. Okay, so I'm just going to sweeten it with some maple syrup. About a third of a cup to start with, and we'll see how we need to sweeten it from there. So it's gonna be a little noisier. The house is awake now, um, but my granola is finished. So halfway through the cooking time, um, I stirred it. I cooked it for about 30 minutes. I'm gonna leave the link to the recipe in the description and you guys can um, double check all of the temperatures and the time. With my cook stove, I have to do more eyeball cooking than anything, especially in the oven. Um, the temperatures vary in there so much that I just kinda sometimes have to leave it in there a little longer, sometimes have to pull it out quicker, depending on how hot it is. So I cook this for about 45 minutes, half an hour to 45 minutes. I 
stirred it up halfway through the cooking process, took it, put it back in the oven, and this is the result, and it looks delicious, and it smells delicious. My yogurt definitely got overcooked a little bit. Um, there's the, the lumpy bits are kind of chewy, so next time, I'm going to move it off of the hot spot of the cook stove um, after it's warmed up, but that is not the recipe that I'm showing you guys today. I want to perfect that before I show you guys. So for lunch, I'm making the kids macaroni and cheese. Homemade, of course, and I'll show you guys how I do that. Michael and I had, um, I don't know what he had because he just fixed himself something. I know he had a grapefruit and some nuts and I don't know what else he had. And I had a bagel that I made yesterday. I'm gonna make some more um, this afternoon, so I'll show you guys how I did that. They are so good. Um, it's a keto bagel. They're not um, chewy like a regular bagel. Oh yeah. But if you are needing that, okay, just a minute. But if you are in need of a bread fix, I highly suggest you make these. I've seen people do blueberry ones, which I'd like to make some for breakfast. I made an everything bagel, so I think I might actually do two batches. Make a blueberry one. <laughs> make a blueberry one and an everything bagel. Okay, my pasta is done and I've taken it off the heat. I'm gonna add cheese, cream cheese, milk, and butter, and I'll show you guys as I go along. Okay, so I have about a quarter cup of butter, a half a block of cream cheese, and roughly two-ish cups of extra sharp white cheddar cheese. My cup, my, my cup, my hand is about a cup capacity and grabbing size. <laughs> okay, I had to put it back on the heat so my cheese will melt. I added a couple slices of provolone cheese to this and my pot was way too small, but I'm using my big pots for my bone broth right now. Okay, cheese is melted and this is what that little bit of provolone cheese does. Uh, extra sharp white cheddar cheese does not string, um, but provolone does and it just looks delicious. Okay, so I am about to make a loaf of bread. I've already got it semi-started. Michael is grinding flour right now. He has been grinding my flour um, every couple days and he's making enough to where I have a few batches worth of bread to, to make. Um, we do half and half ground. I do a soft white wheat flour um, and then we use a regular bread flour, which we're going to be doing a video on that here coming up on the bread recipe that I use. And um, I've been making bread every other day-ish for the last, oh, well, since we've had the cook stove going. Um, and so that is what I'm making now. Okay, my memory got full as I was stirring this up, but this is what it looks like all stirred up. I highly suggest that you use a spoon for a little bit if you want to. Your hands are your best tool in the kitchen, and that's what I always end up doing is using my hands. So I'm going to make this into the bagel shape. I also want to add, I know that I'm, so I'm gonna leave the, the 
link to the website where I got this recipe from. I know that it says that the three eggs are not all meant to go into the dough, but the first time that I did it, I accidentally did it like that, and I liked it, so I kept it like that. I didn't have any issues with the seed sticking to the top. So I forgot to videotape this. I don't know why. I hard boiled up some eggs. Um, we're just gonna have we're just gonna have a salad tonight, a chicken salad. We're gonna do some hard boiled eggs, some sunflower seeds, some pepperoncinis, and just kind of do a really kind of chill night tonight. We've been really busy today, so a nice relaxing dinner is gonna be kind of nice for mom. I still have to get that loaf of bread in the oven and the bagels out. I just turned them around in my cook stove. I have to turn things around, otherwise one side will get really dark and one side won't. So I'll show you guys those as they're coming out of the oven and I'll show you guys the loaf of bread that's rising on the cook stove. That is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I wanted to let you guys know that Michael and I have committed to Mondays and Fridays are going to be our upload days. We're going to do two videos a week. So I hope that you guys are excited. And if you guys aren't already subscribed, um, please hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to like this video. And we will catch you guys in our next one. Blessings and happy homesteading. Bye. Bye.